beer show and me. Tonight we're ramping it up. I'm going to drink a beer from I from uh, Barrie, Ontario. I'm flying monkeys. This one is not a IP. It's not a double IP. It's a triple IP. It's the Sparkle Puff. I like this can. This is really freaking awesome. I like the design, the colors. Pretty cool. So, uh, Sparkle Puff. Defender of the universe. Exploring realms of deep, dank space in the rule of three. It's in DNA. It, in its DNA. Sparkle Puff launches with a payload of smashed summer peaches for cushions of fierce wait for cushions of fierce yeah multi fluff behind a force field of hops three times dry hopped triple the hop flavor and thrice th yeah thrice the aroma the 10.2 ABV alcohol content of this unfiltered adventure glimmers with the epic glory of sparkle puff Galaxy Starfighter, Defender of the Universe. Starfighter. It reminds me of an old movie from the 80s. The Last Starfighter. Now that... I, I, for, for, for the time, the special effects were like... Yeah, were, were, were the best, but now it's like... Yeah. But uh, I like the movie. So let's see if I'm going to like this one. So yeah. So, let's look at the can again. Sparkle Puff. Or, maybe if you do it in a scientific... Not sci science fiction voice. Sparkle Puff. Oh, there you go. I smell it. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, that's a... It's an IPA. But it's a triple IPA. 10.2. Strong gives you a kick. So let's pour it. Damn. Sparkle puff. All right, let's taste it. You smell the hop, hoppiness and smell, smell kind of citrusy too. Ooh. Wow. First taste is like, give you a wow bitterness, tax under your face. Then it goes. Down and you food. And I, I taste the citrusy part of it. It's. But the aftertaste is not that bad. Goes away pretty fast. But I. Yeah, I've tasted some double IPAs and some IPAs and some double double IPAs. But this is the first triple IPA I drink. And I'm surprised. It's really, I, just, just for the can, that's a point right there. That, that, that's a point right there, just for the can. A point and a half, forget, point and a half just for the, for the can. The design, here, I'll show you again. Just for the design of the can, it's a point and a half right there. So, let's see. Yeah, you can feel it right here. The bitterness, you can feel it right here. It's like kind of tingly. The aftertaste is all right. It's, I guess I just taste the citrusy of it, or the hops. Okay, right let's see what's. Alrighty uh, then, uh, let's see. Ingredients, there is none. So it's a free. It's a beer, 
made out of magic. Oh yeah, extra strong beer for sure. Oh yes. Uh, but let's see. Okay, 107 Dunlop Barry, uh, 107 Dunlop Street, Barry, Ontario, Canada. Earth, Milky Way, the Universe, Infinity. Have you seen the Infinity War saga of Marvel? If you haven't, where have you been under a rock? Go watch it. Uh, while drinking, a flying monkey's sparkle puff. Oh, excuse me. Ah, burp test is all right. Pretty good. Uh, it's a return for refund. Very fun. Uh, government morning. Da da da. Search in general. Uh, one minute to not drink alcohol. Never drink. I right, duh. So yeah, that's. So it's a four hundred seventy-three millimeters can, one U.S. pint. Oh, I'm starting to feel the kick in. Whew, it's it's it, it's a good beer with a kick. Anyway, so yeah, I like I said, just a one point five just for the for the design of the can. I give that one without the 1.5 give it an 8 so with the design 9.5 it's a cool looking can I have another can of 12 monkeys that I'm going to review but I like this one it's a first triple IPA I've, I've tried and I'm surprised. Um, I'm not uh, not disappointed. Like I said, like I like we see in the episodes, I like strong beer. This is not the strongest I've tasted so far, uh, but it's the coolest can I've looked at. I saw that. I said, "Hell yeah, I'm gonna taste that one." So yeah, so I like eight for the beer. 1.5 for the can, so a 9.5. Uh, so yeah, we do ratings for the, how it tastes and the aftertaste, how it goes down, the look of the can and everything. My my vote is always in general, but yeah, for 1.5 for the can and eight for the beer, so 9.5 in total. It's it fits my fits my. It fits my, fits my, whoa. No. It, I like it. I'm going to have another glass. I got three, one more glass in there. Oh, yeah, it hits. Oh, yeah, there you go. I know we tasted 10% uh, before was the facts. That one is a different taste. Just like sort of copperish, metalish taste in your mouth. But 10%, other high 10% alcohol ABV caught other 10% ABV beers and up. Uh, I've tasted it. You can't taste the, uh, you can taste the alcohol, but not as much as the facts. The facts, you, you take a drink, it's like, whoa, right there. The Brasse de la Côte uh, you can taste the mm. alcohol content, but it's, mm. sorry, it's covered by the coffee taste at the end. This one, you can smell the hoppiness, you can taste the hoppiness in the citrusy uh, aftertaste. Aftertaste is not goes away quick. It doesn't linger like other IPAs. But all in all, I like it. So eight for the beer, one point five for the design of the can, so nine point five. So 
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go on Facebook, like us and follow us on Facebook. Go on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Instagram. And from me and Virtual NB, uh, don't drink and drive, and stay safe. And see you guys later.